So let's uh, start by the elbow method. Okay. Uh, let's write. Let's create an empty list. This will uh, carry the distortion. Okay. Distortion of each and every value of k. Basically, the inertia. Inertia of it. So for i in range, uh, let's take one to ten, or let's carry on to fifteen. Okay, one to fifteen. These are the different value of k's. Okay. Uh, let me write k over here. For k in range this and model is equal to k means where I'll just mention the value of k. So for each and every value of k, we will be having a different model and then I'll fit it with my x. Okay, everything looks just fine. The next thing is I will append the inertia of it. So this dot append, what I'm going to append, I'm going to append the distortion that is the inertia. Inertia. Okay. Everything looks just fine. Now let's run it out. Okay. Everything has been run out uh, nicely. Over here, you can see one thing that uh, these are the different inertia values and we need a elbow cut. Okay. So the these difference we can see is someplace over here that is I think the sixth one and hopefully we are eventually we can see that we have only uh, six clusters six clusters will be the best answer for our solution so over here you can see that there's a basic dip from 1675 to 619 okay some four digit to three digit it jumped out now to get a clear picture okay don't go from just for either distortion to get a clear picture what you can do is you can plot out uh, scatter plot, uh, so not even a scatter plot. Uh, you can just plot out a normal line graph for this. Okay, for yeah, joining each and every point. So let's try to plot it out. Plt dot plot. I'm going to in the x-axis. I'm going to put all the value of one from ranges one to fifteen. Okay, and as of the y-axis, what we can have is this. Or else to make it more robust, what you can do is you can have len dist plus one. Whatever the length of this will be, we will be having one greater. Okay, and let's write this plt dot title as elbow method. Elbow method. Next thing is plt dot x axis x label. The x label let's name it as uh, number of clusters number of clusters and plt dot y label stands for uh, wcss or inertia basically let's plot it and from this you can actually say that uh, at y probably five or six over here we get this curve at 5 or 6, we can see it submerging nicely. So, the optimal value of k should be 6 or 5. Okay. Basically, we can, from seeing it at 2 dimensional, we are able to say that it is 6. But uh, if you see the distortion also, we can just come to the solution that it will be x equals to 6. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, what we are going to do, now that we know optimal value of k is equal to 6 so the next thing is we will uh, refit our model okay we will retrain our model so i will just write retrain our model okay and again uh, we are going to do the same thing we can just copy out the code from up mm, yeah this code I'm going to do the same thing and over here again we have the predicted one copy paste it out over here okay k means uh, and we have to mention n clusters equal to six we have the y k means value now what we are going to do is we are going to plot it out okay quite the same thing i'm doing over here before that i will try to find out the centers and copy it out in centers paste it out and now let's check so you can see that 
six clusters were the optimal value of k optimal value of clusters that means and basically we have got a very good clear picture of how they are distinguishing from each other this is a different cluster this is a different cluster this is a different cluster this 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 all of these are different clusters and if you try to compare with with the above one you see we have over one cluster over here one cluster over here all of these were taken into account as a single cluster similar for this thing so that's all about k means algorithm i hope it was quite clear to you it's a very simple algorithm where we follow our very much iterative approach where after each and every iteration we are reshifting the centroids to have a better fit so that's it for this section i hope you enjoyed it we'll connect again in our next section